Hello guys, I hope everybody's doing okay. Just making another quick one just to show how to wire the dual stepper motor um, rotary device. And uh, you will notice now we have a very tiny motor. This is only one inch thick. And these are um, eight and a half bucks uh, stepper motors. And I will show you how difficult it is to wire this thing. So obviously the stepper motor came with the on one meter long cables and it's gonna be obviously hooking the connectors that these cables, sorry, came with. And I have another one here. Now, I'm gonna end up with obviously um, two terminals to hook it, but normally in every laser cutter we only have one, and doesn't matter if you're using a Ruida or the stock um, K40 or is only uh, one terminal, so unless you're using two drivers. But in this case, the normal thing is everybody have only one stepper driver. So the way we do that is using this um, device right here. And see if we can show you real quick here. It is a stepper motor parallel connector. This is normally used in the 3D printers that use two stepper motor for the C axis. So, how are we gonna connect this? It's very, very simple. This one here. And the other one here. So we're gonna end up with this. And this came with this uh, 100 millimeter long extension cable. So guys, this is it. This is all you need to connect the dual stepper motor uh, rotary device, okay? So anyhow, I'm gonna show you real quick how this works. And not with a real laser, but I have a small board that I can test uh, my stepper drivers and stuff, um, stuff like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using, this is a stepper driver right here, and this is a controller board for the stepper driver, so I can um, adjust speed and uh, direction, and obviously it pulls the motor right here. So what we're gonna do is hook up the extension right here, like so. And let's apply power to this little board. And you're moving the stepper divers. Let me see if you can take a look. And obviously both are moving in the same direction. There's another way that you can do this, is uh, hooking the cables by yourself, by using the same parallel or series um, way to do that. So here you can see a wiring diagram, how you can hook up yourself the cables without using that device, but it's so simple. Using that and that device is only $6, and it's worth it. So it's just connecting terminals and that's it. But you can use also this method to connect the uh, the cables, okay? So again, here we can show you in a better way. And let me increase the speed a little bit here. And how smooth everything moves right here, see? And that's the way you connect that. It's very easy and uh very cheap guys i made the math and it's only 50 bucks to build this very easy to do if you own a laser obviously you can cut the the, the plates that i already um, upload on the page and very simple you can avoid this complexity here um, for the uh rotary device but you don't need to do all this thing and the good thing about this design also is we can go beyond 
the motors, you know, the wheels and the motors all the way back in order to engrave and fit the different type of objects. Hope you like it, guys. Very simple. Any questions, let me know. I will be happy to answer anything and uh, enjoy the build. See ya.